Hello everyone, Jen Obvious, and today's Unity lesson, we are going to be putting in the Sack Flight and Vehicle System by Sachan into our own 3D model plane. A lot of you have been waiting for it, so I'm going to walk you through it step by step. So let's get started. Hello everyone, Jen Obvious, back with another Sack Flight tutorial. This time we're going to be putting the Sack Flight in Vehicle System by Sachan into our own 3D model plane. I'll show you step by step here. So let's get started. First thing you want to do is drop the SF1 prefab into your scene. Then take your 3D model. I have a low poly F2 jet with a cockpit um, that I've put in here and I'm going to put the system into our new model. Okay, make sure both models are unpacked completely, the SF1 and your model. The next thing you want to do is change the layer of your model. Right now it's default. You want to change that to walkthrough. Yes, change children. Uh, let's collapse the SF1 so we can see all this. Uh, the next thing you want to do is take your plane and size it to the same as the SF1, as close as you can. Uh, I resized this a earlier. So you want to make sure it's kind of the same size. That way it'll help with uh, uh, your instruments and everything later. Uh, you can always resize your model up or decrease the size later. Okay? So you'll click on the plane body under the SF1 mesh. And you want to change this mesh right here. Now this is the way I do it. Other people may have a different way. But you want to change the plane body to the mesh of your new model. Uh, notice down here that our model mesh is the Fuse 84. So we're going to go back to the plane body of the SF1. Take our mesh so now you can see it's looking better okay but yeah we're not done all right so then the next thing you want to do is just turn off flame body just turn it off all right next thing we're going to go through this hierarchy step by step so let's follow along static colliders you'll notice this is the sf1 static colliders go ahead and remove these and we're going to add our own colliders. So remove all the mesh colliders and we have one box left. So let's go ahead and resize this uh, like that. That's the plain body right there and then this is mainly for um, you know, being hit by other aircraft and also to stabilize the aircraft when it's on the ground. So we need to add another collider here. Let's go ahead and add another box collider. And we're going to size this to the wing section here. Like right, that. That yeah, looks all right. Make sure that lines up down here, and it does not. We're going to need to raise that up. And it gets a little tricky when you're looking at these, trying to get the colliders just right. Raise that up just a tad. All right, that's looking pretty good. We can't, you can put another one on the back here if you want. We're just gonna put um, these here. Oop, that needs to be moved back just a little bit. All right, that looks better. All right, so we got our colliders on here. Next thing is the armature and the plain main. The lot of stuff in here. All right, the, um, the wheel colliders that are on the SF-1, you need to put those as a part of your model. But we need to put our model 
in here. So we're going to take and click on our F2 jet and we're going to move it to that parent and we're going to move it up, put it right above the pl plane body that we turned off earlier. Okay. And notice that the layer is walkthrough on our plane. The next thing you want to do is go down to the SAC Air vehicle and make sure that this SF1 mesh corresponds to here. It's going to read this mesh. Okay? It's going to ignore this. It's going to read the mesh of your model and then go down here. Now, the wheel colliders are in the armature. You need to make them a part of your model. Alright? So, the first one that we're going to move is the left or the front wheel mover. Move this over here. Front wheel mover, that is your front wheel collider. And it's right there. So we want to take this whole front wheel mover and we're going to move it and put it as a child of our F2 jet. Now the left wheel is the left gear one you're going to do the same thing move that to your model the right gear one is your right wheel so you're going to move that up and put it on your model these have to be like this otherwise your plane is going to fall right to the ground it's just going to plop Alright, so we've got that done. The next thing you want to do is go through each thing on this hierarchy in the armature and decide whether you want it or not. So the um, airlines, they're about the same spot because our plane matched up pretty well. Uh, the air brakes, you want those right behind the pilot. Yep, so that's a good spot. you can just a lot of these you can ignore uh, canopy that looks okay it's right there by the canopy elevator rotator you don't have to worry about that too much now the engines <clears throat> okay the engines you want that flame to appear when you put your thrust on all right so we are going to Move that now. This jet only has one engine, which is fine. We're going to move these back, and if you notice and collapse the parent, you've got an engine fire left and an engine fire right. Now, since we only got one engine on this, I can delete one of these. If you got two engines, then you just move them to where your engine is and position it, you know where you want it to appear but we're going to go ahead and delete one of these and we're just going to use one engine all right so you've got to size that up and move it to where your engine is going to shoot its flame out and that looks okay for now all right, so we're done with the engine. The flaps, don't worry, flaps. Don't worry about this, really. Um, you can, if you if you want to make sure that your sound and everything and everything is in the right, you can always drop another SF1 over here and use it as a reference. All right, so the next thing we want to do, I think we're done with the armature. Dial functions, uh, leave that alone because it's really it's right there by the cockpit. Don't have to mess with the dial functions really. The um, SAC center of mass, make sure that is in the center of the plane roughly. So that looks okay. Uh, these should all be good as well. Effects controller. This is where all your attached uh, particle effects are. Wing vapor. Okay, I think those are all right. Oh, the nav light. 
Now you're going to have to move the nav lights and we're just I'm just going to put them back here for now. I'm not going to put them on the plane. And the same way with the flashing lights. Uh, we're just going to turn off the flashing lights. We don't need that. Wing trail on the tip of the wings. That's the vapor coming off. Uh, here we go. Uh, explosion should be in the middle. Gun particle. That's where your weapon is. Your guns are going to fire. So. You can move that, um, you can move it if you want and put it where your guns are coming out. Uh, flares look okay. Display smoke and splash, that's fine. All right, let's collapse that. And go to our next thing in the hierarchy, the sound controller. A lot of these should be the Pretty close to the same, yeah, over the cockpit, because our plane matched up pretty well. Pilot seat. Now we got to get really close up here, and you notice this is too far back. So let's move pilot seat right about there, and see the canopy comes down there. Let's lower. I always like to lower this collider to the top of the canopy. And let's check the exits. Make sure it's away from the plane. Seat should be okay. Now the target eye. I want to move the target eye. Uh, looks like a, that looks pretty good actually right there. Uh, if you have a passenger seat, you're going to be doing the same thing. This does not have a passenger seat, so we're just going to turn it off. Uh, the AAMs, you can go ahead and turn those off for now so they don't show. They're still going to fire. You just won't see them on your model. And the bombs as well. Um, camera position should be good, but you can always adjust the camera position. And we'll move it. Eh, I guess it's alright because it's going to show here. So, I, wow. Okay, I think we are... We're getting close. We're getting really close. Now, you notice this has got the, oh yeah, the wheel colliders. All right, let's go ahead and go back up to our front wheel. And we're going to have to move it. See, it's like an invisible wheel, just a wheel collider. So let's go ahead and move that down and put it over the wheel of our model. there and we're going to do the same thing with the other wheel colliders the left and the right okay the next thing you want to do is click on in vehicle turn it on and this is where all your instruments are your joist your joystick your panels all that stuff okay we're in the cockpit right now so go down to pilot only and pilot only should be yeah, should be right about there where the instrumentation is joystick uh, there's our joystick so you're going to want to put that um, in the seat that looks okay that'll be okay for now uh, the throttle slider Move that back. Probably about yeah, right there is good. And yeah, you know, all these can be adjusted later. Stick display. Alright, let's move that where we can see it. And I'm just gonna place it right over here for now. Um, I'm not gonna go into too much detail about moving it just so we can see it when we get into the 
plane. All right, the ATG screen, uh, if you want to use that, the ATGs, you can um, air to ground missile. You can move the screen, um, uh, or you can just turn it, or you can just delete it. You know, you, if you don't want that on your plane, just delete it. Fuel gauge, definitely need the fuel gauge. Alright, we're going to put it there for now. Uh, the HUD screen pilot. May have to move that depending on... Now, this model came with a screen right there, which we no! can't remove unless we put it in Blender. So let's go ahead and move... Hmm, that's going to be difficult. Normally, you could just... You know, you could put your HUD right here, but that's going to be blocking it. I uh, hope you guys see what I mean. This little piece right here, if it wasn't in the model, I would just put my HUD screen right there. <laughs> and just be clear. But Alright, moving along. Nope, let's move that HUD screen back or it's going to be a problem when we get in. All right, I'll go ahead and turn off the end vehicle, and let's play it and see what happens. Should be good. I mean, everything is set pretty much. I mean, you can piddle in with the other things and move them. Um, but it's looking pretty well. Of course, we got the light that's not there. Wrong. Um, all right, so let's jump into the cockpit. <laughs> I hope this video helped you put the SAC flight and vehicle system into your own 3D model plane. Good luck, pilots, and we'll catch you on the next video.